and welcome to the second tutorial in our series covering production techniques in Ableton. Now in our first tutorial there we went over the impulse drum machine and different things you can do with that. We're going to extend on to different channels. So now we're going to move on to uh, one of the most important parts of music production that is creating a, a good solid starting template that we'll be using to start all our tracks. Uh, so I'm just going to get started here. There's a lot to go through and not a lot of time to do it. So I'm going to go on and uh, things will make sense as I go along. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to make some audio channels like in the impulse here where I, where I set them up to receive audio from the impulse. I'm going to make some audio groups or audio buses here to receive audio from different parts of the track. So I'm going to start here with the a hot bus, this is a clap bus, you'd be more than likely laying a lot of sounds together to get claps, so it's good to have a group for them all. Um, it's a perk bus, uh, gonna make a bass. Bus. We're not, we won't be dealing with bass today, but we'll be dealing with it. Uh, we'll be going into a lot of detail on it in a few tutorials time, so it's just good to have it here. And um, we're also going to need a DB drum and bass. I'll explain what that is now in a sec. So it's going to hold down control, select all these, give them their own color. Sorry. There we go. So just so you stick out when you're automating. Uh, now, like before, um, these are already selected, so I'm gonna monitor it in and audio from. I'm gonna put that to no input because I'm using a microphone. Uh, the the default setting will start to take sound from it and give some bad feedback. You should be alright if you're just using a sound card at home with no microphone. But if you are using a laptop with no sound card, you probably will start to get some bad feedback. So it's uh, just put to no input if if you have to, but mo most cases you won't. But anyway, so these are all set up to take sound from wherever you, from wherever uh, is sending it to them. So so hat here. I start the hat. Hat two. Hat bus. Clap two. Clap bus. Park two. Park bus. And uh, kick. That's gonna go to the DMB. That's the drum and bass. Um. I'll explain why as the tutorial goes on. So there you go. Um, so I'm just going to play that. So you can see the perks gone there, claps gone there. So the same principles before with the impulse thing. So now uh, I'm going to go a step further with here. I'm going to the bus, clap bus, all the basically all the percussion noise to kick on the sound to the drum bus here. So it just for automating that kind of stuff. If you want to say reverb all your everything in the track, that kind of stuff, it's it's, it's important to have every everything just in the end going to the one channel. So I'm just gonna send that's a drum bus, that's a drum bus, that's a drum bus. So if it's all the drum bus, you can. So as you can hear, all the sound noise kick is going there. So um, I'm gonna add a few loops in here. Percussion loops. I'll add a hat loop. Um, yeah, it's not bad. Um, but I'm just gonna stick with simple loops here. We, we'll be dealing with stuff like uh, cutting up loops, that kind of stuff. Um, in a few tutorials time you can get very creative with loops but for this one I'm just going to use straight loops here uh, we will be covering things like side chain uh, compression in the very next tutorial so make sure you watch that it's very important with, with regards to loops and uh, buses that kind of stuff so there's a there's a hat loop there so I'm going to send that to the hat bus the solo hat bus yeah you'll hear that for the straight hat and that will come out through it. Now I'm just going to get a percussion one. Yeah, that's a simple percussion one. I'll send that to the percussion bus. So we saw the percussion bus. Sorry. There we go. That's 
that's it there. <laughs> right. So um, so there we go. That, that's that's basically uh, sending sounds to buses. So now I'm gonna go over some effects you can do on the buses. So uh, for this, I'll use the audio effect rack. Now I have the default setting here on the audio effect rack that has the compressor, the EQ, Redux, which is good for uh, giving great on percussion. I'll show you now and then a simple delay spectrum and limiter. Now, uh, like the delay won't be used. You won't use on every single bus, but it's nice to have it there. So basically, if you want to make your own default setting on that, the audio effect, you can just double click it, drag it down, and you can drag all these into it. Make sure in the middle of it, as you can see, they're all being controlled by the one on off switch. So they're already grouped for it. And uh, when they're all in, save as default preset. So then, anytime you open. You double click that, all these will come up. So I'm gonna put these on, on all my buses here. And DMB. And uh, the DMB will need an extra plugin, a utility down here. I'm gonna go into mono for that. The kick is being sent there, and the bass also will be sent there like so and the uh, kick and bass need to be a mono so um so there you go so that's the kick in a mono you barely notice the difference but with soul bases that kind of stuff it, it's it's absolutely vital so there you go so um hats for instance of the solo them give them a give them a low cut Bus. Like it's very essential to get rid of all these unnecessary low frequencies. A lot of them are just more than enough to track. They're not that necessary. When you're using uh, heavy subs, that kind of stuff, the less unnecessary low frequencies, the better. So, so, so there we go. Gonna put some redux on that. There's the kind of grit I was telling you about with that. Um, so there's some of the effects you can do. Obviously, you can be creative, go a few steps further. But um, I'm just gonna play this all together now. Right on the drum bus here. Also, you can do a thing called uh, parallel compression, new York compression. It's not for everyone, but uh, I I like it a lot. It beefs up your uh, your sound a lot. So I'm gonna quickly go through. So compress it here. I'm gonna group it. Uh, like this uh, little chain list here, gonna go down here, create chain. Basically, that's gonna recycle the signal back on top of itself. So, as you can, so as you can hear, it beats up the sound a lot more when you bring down the threshold, it brings up a lot more, it just be brings out your percussion a lot more. Uh, it's a nice technique, it's a very popular technique that's used, and it's, it's, it's nice for your buses. So. there you go and um, obviously you can go over this give it a nice mix down get all the sounds uh, make sure everything's EQ right nothing's peaking that kind of stuff so uh, so yeah we're gonna move on now to uh, the return channels here uh, now I'm just gonna start here with some reverb uh, this will make sense now in a second as to what the return channels actually do so I'm just gonna give it a short little small little reverb so local on so I'll explain this with the hats so there's actually no go use the percussion here actually so it's gonna, gonna solo a reverb there gonna turn that up sorry Bring the decay down a bit. If you yeah, there you can see what it's doing. Basically, you're just sending the sound signal to this uh, reverb channel, reverb return. So, so, um, so the sound is going through the reverb, and it's just a simple, quick way of doing effects to sounds. Uh, for the second one, I'm going to give a big reverb, so a low cut, 
Go to only have that big decay. You can obviously take your time with these to get them to get them absolutely right. I'm just doing this very very quickly. So um, for the percussion to be to put the B up there a bit. So there you can hear what that one's doing there. Now I'm going to give this a quick uh, glitch delay, just something very simple. So a simple delay here. Uh, you can mess around with this, get it, get it the way you want it. Three trees, a nice setting on it. So I'm going to use the bring these down. All right, see up. Solo the percussion group here and. Now that sounds, that can sound very nice with some reverb on it. I'll give it a bit of short reverb there, kind of room reverb. It's nice to have a room reverb, kind of more orchestra chamber kind of reverb on the second one, and it, it delay. You, you can you can do what you want in the returns, but these are just kind of vital things for a track. So. There you go, that's returns uh, covered there. So um so yeah, I think I think we've covered most stuff there. Obviously you can add to this template add uh, a bit go into detail with it. This is this is a rough guideline to it, but it, it's 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 a pretty good way of doing things. So if you, so um obviously uh, you can add more loops it, but it's it, it's the same principle. You add a percussion loop, send a percussion uh, but we'll start to turn the center of the drum bus, which, which when it comes to automating at the end, arranging the track, things like when this, all the sounds come to the one channel, you can, you can weave around at the same time or individually. The options there, so you've a lot, you've a lot, of, a lot of things to play with. So, um, so that's it there. You can you can work on that. Um, yourself hopefully hopefully you can add to a bit put your own touch on it but yeah there we go i think we've covered most stuff there so uh, our, you can check our email address there at the end if, if if something's bothering you about this if you've a few questions just just send us a mail there and we'll get back to you but uh, uh yeah i hope this has helped a few years so uh cheers thanks